<laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry to work like in that car, in that mix, but no, 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 you, no. you've also become part of us. So. Of course, of course. Yeah. Yeah, so my name is Akumu Aina. I am a journalist and I'm also an actress. Yeah. Allah! Yeah, Two actresses I, I, who are yeah, meeting. Uh, 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 no, guys. I will let this panel, please. I'm not going to find you. I'm not going to find you. I'm not even sure what they're telling me is correct or they're not even acting. Uh, we won't pretend. It's a quite real, Sasa. I can promise. I can promise. Yeah, so you can find me on social media platforms. It's Anna underscore K official. Yeah, thank you for having me. Karibuni sana. So Thank the you. big question today we are asking, and let me actually repeat it for the sake of those who are at home. The big question is, let me just read it the way it is before ni some vitu zangu. Eh, uta, utasemaje kwa mwana ume mwenye anati mamake kuliko his wife? Utasemaje kwa mwana mke mwenye anati? Is it kuti o kusikiza mwana ume mwenye anati mama yake kuliko wife? Yeah. <laughs> so... Miss Junior and the RP discussion. I Nicola have to one million Zakuliza and call have to one million at a clarity on. But uh, let, let's just begin from what's the definition of an AT? As in, um, Kuti, in terms of, um, I really want to understand what, what, what it means to say that Monome and AT, whether it's the mother or his wife. Mm -hmm. So, me, I feel like. For a man, kuko obedient, kuti kuko obedient. Yeah, it's like they are putting uh, whatever they've been told by whoever they prioritize. Kila kitu inyutu anambiwa, they choose to follow. They choose to follow. I don't know if we can call it blindly mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to e question yetu ya leo. So, I feel like kuko na obedient, it's you decide to follow what you've been told. Okay, af you 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 make your decisions after you consider what what your wh whoever you prioritize, what what they say. So you choose to follow in what they think, like you do according to what they think. Yeah. SK, what yeah. do you think? I would probably say this is uh, someone who has no stand, just like she said. You don't have opinions of your own. You don't have a direction. You just do what your mom tells you because she is your mom. And I just don't think it's right because you've been listening to your mom ever since you come doggo. Like you're grown up, you're a daddy, you're a husband, you have a home, but still let your mom, oh, this, that, nah, it's, I, I just don't think it's right. But it happens, uh, uh, you see, especially last born men, mm -hmm. when you come yeah. with their moms, so they're this close to their moms, like they are mama's boy, uh, in other words. Last born light. Yeah, last born. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> the last born light. Yeah, the light. You're not nice, you know. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> last born light say, skin. Yeah, so you find, uh, like, Wakona took a bond, kengine tu na mzazi, like, mm. what our, wow, they will always put them first. But I feel priorities, okay, all, all along your journey, umekua mdogo, you've been with your mom, you've mm. been listening to her, so she's been directing you on what to do, what is right, what is wrong. But then you come in, una grow, una grow, see at you utakua stagnant hapo, yeah, and you grow and your priorities change. Unanza kuangalia things in a different perspective. Unakuja unapata mrembo. Unakuja unapata your girlfriend. So I don't think, uh, I feel like this is the time that you should change a little bit. Like you don't listen to that mom of yours for, mm. yeah. <laughs> simbaya, simbaya. Simbaya, you but. You don't listen to that mom. Yeah. <laughs> okay, simbaya, but I feel like priorities should change. Yeah. Mm. Unafase so weke u. They walk up on Belly Sasa. I feel like she deserves to own that position. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Hey, Kukona history, we must have a demoka up on Belly and Kakumbuka history. Who should sit in front of the car? I wanted, to bring, the car. <laughs> I wanted to bring that up. It's a very interesting topic mm -hmm. because, okay, let me just get your opinion first before I talk. <laughs> <laughs> and then I want to know what you think. Who should sit in Belly between mm -hmm. mother in law? Nam. Wife. No wife. Wow. I don't know. <laughs> this is, okay, if it was me and mm -hmm. my mother-in-law, 
we will let her sit in front. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Personally, me ninge mwacha kai. Juu, for me, just that I don't care. Yeah. Nani haka hapo mbele, asika hapo mbele. Ah, it's it more to be fika kwenye tunayenda. I mean, yeah. I don't care. But now, I've realized that it's a bone of contention. Mm -hmm. Mtu, mtu wanasema hapo, oh, si mimi ndia waifi yako, oh, si mimi, mimi ndia waifi yake, oh, si tui... I don't know. But I've got a competition, mm -hmm. which is not right. Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> I personally feel if... um. Okay, let me just start by saying it's the wife. I have reasons. Okay. So, um, your mother is someone's wife. So, if your dad has a car, your mom should sit at the front. Eish. But now, I am your wife. Eish. That is my space. <laughs> so, if, um, if I am willing, that is if I really want to let you sit in this hour. But there's this video I saw. The husband was literally... Um, lecturing the wife that you should sit. I don't think yeah, it's supposed think to be like that. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> <Manu, laughs> <manu, laughs> and this is my mom, she yeah. should be here. Me, I'm just like, if I volunteer, ni sawa, but don't force me. Jo mm -hmm. Exactly. Eh. Ma okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> that brings me to that question here. Mm -hmm. Kupikiana. Mm -hmm. Oh, my son loves this food. My son oh loves ugali. My son loves his ugali. Kiwa <laughs> soft. My son loves this. My son, my son, my son, my son. <laughs> That discussion, yeah, my son, my son, my son loves this, uh -huh. my son loves that. Wh where do mothers need to draw the boundaries in terms of when you visit? Mm -hmm. where, where are the boundaries drawn in terms of getting into the kitchen and the decisions that are made at home? Mm -hmm. I don't know. What SK, what do you think? Well, first of all, let's start with how long that um, the mother-in-law should stay because I also find that... Uh, so who determines how long she stays? <laughs> she'll be the first question I should ask Basi. Okay. I think me and my husband should sit down and discuss. Like it shouldn't be a one person's decision because if it's up to the mother-in-law, I'm sure it's a for forever. Like they don't Ataka. mind. <laughs> know, okay, right? okay, they don't see. They're so At comfortable. Point, they don't see. They're so comfortable like you say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you can a man. Yeah, in fact, when a man, you see, I think the wrong thing that mm -hmm. men do at some point, Nikukoa wanna make assumptions. They make assumption that the lady, Akosawa, she's cool with it. Mm -hmm. But then, unapata, this lady, and I decide to humble because Hannah choice. She's your mom, so mm -hmm. Hannah choice. But I feel like if this man prioritizes uh, Uyu, her lady, she will, he, he will um, first consult her. He will first discuss it with her to mm. let, like, m to get a clear view and a clear perspective of how the wife or the, yeah, the partner in the relationship thinks about that it. That brings me, you and I let her point here. Mm. This is my son's house. I can visit any time eh. I want. Oh <laughs> and then there are those mother, mother, mothers-in-law that mm. are like, I mean, this is my son's house. Mm -hmm. I can visit the time I want, yeah. when I want. Do I need to seek permission from both of you or either of you? How do you deal with such a mother? You <gasps> know, I think the problem is, uh, probably the man looks at this like a competition. Like, who's better between my mom and my wife? But it shouldn't be that way. You're my mom. You remain to be my mom. This is my wife. We have boundaries. Mm -hmm. There's no competition. That's that's how we should understand it. Kilam to akwena, you know, their own side and yeah. Yeah, and I, I don't think uh, if if you as a man mm -hmm. if you as a man you let this happen, you let your mom come akai for that long, you see it a letter issues kwa relationship. It akwa like this woman oh sorry. <laughs> yeah, your mom uh, will be like in control. For your lady there. So, I have to control and sure it won't be okay. Yeah, it has hey. issues. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mara, I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to ask you no, imagine I think it's common sense. <laughs> I'm, I'm not your wife. Let me sit at the back. Why, why are we fighting? No, <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make sense to me, to be yeah. honest. It doesn't make sense to me. But I think, Pia, okay, uh, you can still, mm -hmm. uh, you as a lady, for a window, Demia, Uyu, Manu, Meoko, so you just, you can just let it happen. After all, you, Unakonga, Tuna, 
your man. So, mm. unaweza unaweza humble. Yeah, it's volunteering is fine. Yeah, but forcing me or forcing. Uh, that's when my eh, that's when I may have been now. That's when I may have been now. Because you're still a lot of issues, a mm. lot of uh, arguments. Mm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's good to sacrifice. I mean, you can just let the mom. I think mom the problem in Angelia, your partner, is can say ma, don't ask me. Usi yeah. oh yeah as a mask usianze kuniambia ti sasa fanya hivi mm -hmm. madam exactly. mama yangu ako around ka nyuma mm -hmm. as in oh, it should come that. from me it should it should be a me initiative mm -hmm. <laughs> sasa tukiongea hivyo <laughs> mimi nataka kuuliza swali about those men who can't defend their wives in the in the presence of their mother mama boys <laughs> Mama's boy. Mama's boy. <laughs> Mwenye, my mother, my, you know it's my mother. Oh, you know it's my mother. You oh. know, babe, it's mm -hmm. my mother. You know it's my. Eh. Kwani mimi sina mother? I eh, know, right? Hata uli toka mahali. No, for real. I mean, kwani mimi sina mother. Uh -huh. So the those men who are not able to who are not able to stand up for their wives. Yeah. True. Sure. Mama ngo amesema twende ushago weekend. Sawa tunaenda. tunaenda. <laughs> Mamangu amesema tukule ugali. Mhm. Mm Mamangu alisema sibangi ni sivyo hiyo shati ya color red. No. And how do you how do you just deal with all this? Me think it's communication. First know what your wife or real lady thinks about everything. See at you just do what your mom wants you wants you to do. Remember uh where we will come part of the uh, you you had parents so these parents were part of your dream of the uh, you are part of their dream mm -hmm. uh walikuwa nataka kupata mtoto one day and so you are just part of their dreams so you have your own life you have to stand on your own so you have to make your own choices your own decisions you have to have a say you have to have a say mm -hmm. it's not bad to show your mother okay in a polite and respectful way of course mm -hmm. yeah you just set the boundaries you just talk to her and yeah don't make assumptions yeah we see ignore we see ignore i see oh she should understand that say i have a lady so kuna venya nafa ku behave just make it clear i feel yeah. communication is key yeah and hata kwa na control sana I feel like I'm going to be a bit harsh. Wow. <laughs> we should be <laughs> rash. The opinion. name man from you. Because a man is known to be the head of the family to mm -hmm. make decisions. Now when your mom is telling you every little thing to do, why are you still a man? <laughs> Bam! She has... <laughs> I mean, I know. Let me tell you. Mm -hmm. hey, Mimi, let me tell you guys. I have a problem uh -huh. with a man that cannot man up. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's a complete turn off. I mean, how how are you a man and you're not able to lead? Mm -hmm. I have to make decisions for uh, maybe by the way we are done. Mm -hmm. We way, are done. Mm -hmm. We are done because personally mm -hmm. I'm thinking that in as much as okay I I I, I prefer dating older older people because mm -hmm. I feel like they have their life figured out and you I'm sumbwani mm -hmm. I'm sumbwani I'm not stressed ya kushinda you don't have to teach him being a man mm -hmm. but then you meet you meet you meet younger men who are also probably mature but okay kukola tu kitu tu kitu kwa hapo to be explained mm -hmm. but now maybe I, there are things I say I can't do I can't be the one in this relationship. You're supposed to be the priest of this relationship. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to be the leader in this relationship yeah. or in this marriage. And mm -hmm. then Mimi ndio na call shots. Mimi ndio ni kama nakwambia venye unafaa kufanya maisha yako. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mimi ndio ni kama nakwambia vile tunafaa ku spend pesa. <laughs> Mimi ndio ni kama nakwambia Why? I know. Why you have a problem? Yeah. <laughs> In fact, you should leave that man. Exactly. Why yeah. why are you staying there? It's mm -hmm. like where's the one I'm there? Round 2 after <laughs> <laughs> You're like a second round. mom. I know. Yeah. Right? It's Actually, boring. It's very making annoying. decisions like <laughs> this, you know, this is how we should do it. Mm -hmm. I feel like you're doing wrong. Mm -hmm. I just So me I feel apana. You should you shouldn't be the one like this me, man. Me, I can't uh, me I can't teach me some kama kuna vitu nilisa man niliacha kufanya. There are two things three those mm -hmm. were quarter two. There are three things mm -hmm. I stopped doing. One, I stopped being rehab for badly raised men. I, oh stopped, yes, I stopped being rehab for badly raised <laughs> uh -huh. men. I cannot do it anymore. Two, uh -huh. I am not mission ground. 
I'm not going to be a missionary in a relationship preaching Christ to you. I know, <laughs> guy, please go, go, go and know Jesus for yourself. Yeah. Then when you know Jesus and you're filled with the Holy Spirit, come, <laughs> we talk, come, we have a conversation. Yeah. They can teach you Jesus. And now, three, Swazi Kulia. I see, go by Miss Swazi Kulia. Mama, I know, right? I'm not now. Your dad has not led you. Okay, to say, my mama, because now they say that the aspect of a man being a leader or the aspect mm -hmm. of a man bringing out mm -hmm. um, his manhood comes from the dad because okay. it's the dad who should be more dear yeah, man into mm -hmm. becoming mm -hmm. so me those things i can't do them mm. so i don't know what you guys think well personally i am submissive and <laughs> i'm very sure any submissive girl out there you don't look me. like submissive i, I do <laughs> I, I, <laughs> girl i am wow that's interesting my guy told me do this i do this and then I asked for the explanation <laughs> after Mimaliza. <laughs> yeah, but when did I cook fish? Oh, after the shop picker. So yeah. yeah. Me and do right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. But then again, you don't, you don't uh -huh. submit to nonsense. Of course. Exactly. Of course. Mm -hmm. You see, uh, um, okay. She was, she was telling us something. What was I saying? You're telling us, first of all, you're submitting. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. So I definitely want a man who is in charge. A man who's just be a man. That's attractive. Mm -hmm. eh. <laughs> You're talking my language. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, what do you think? Yeah, a man, a man who has men quality. Ukwena quality is a man or woman. When I do, you can be a man. No? Hey, Lola, scare me too. <laughs> hey, yeah. I think a man who has man qualities. <laughs> yeah, you can be a man, but you're not a man because you have to behave. Yeah, you can be a man. You don't know how to fix things. You know, a man is a fixer. <laughs> you always expect kabali buka meari buka tu apo and then una una pigia una taftana oh acha kujia to fix it. Like you just builder. you have to possess those men qualities. You have to be a fixer. When do una fall due? This is done this way. So like tunesa kutegemea. Exactly. Wow. Points. I know, right? I feel like I'm just having a very nice conversation because let me tell you something. Mimi, I, I, I'm just thinking. You've said a man needs to be a fixer. Of course. I'm just thinking. I thought Nilkwanga Lakasoro Nikisema that may I need a man that can handle things I cannot handle in the house. May I have a long list of <laughs> what I want a man it's forty six qualities mm -hmm. so that leather could tick one by one. So I'm always <laughs> thinking that I, I want a man that is able to handle what I can't handle. Like um Kama bulbs in Metokana, watch a nifiki, well, fiki a bulb. Kama unataka kuchukua vitu kujukua kwa drawers, please be able to pick them for me. If if I need to move this seat, I need to panguzo kuchini, I need to move the seat, sir, please. You, you need to be capable. You need to be capable to fix it. And then I think, it, I, I, I don't know, let me ask you this question. Do you think it, it's, um, it shapes the way a woman looks at a man? Yeah. Do you think the fix it um, mentality that is um, the man being hands on shapes the way a woman looks at him? Definitely does. Because I feel like when I'm doing everything for myself, I am losing touch of my feminine self. Mm -hmm. So I'm sort of feeling like I'm the man in the house. You're going to because what are you doing? Like a bulb. Not doing as I think. Rent me a big person. <laughs> Wait, talk and tell me again. I can get. I think you don't get nobody to cook. What do you think? Yeah, when you told me, say, my Drew, sister, okay, what are you there for? Because you're going to get Yeah, so I feel I agree. I totally agree. I agree with her. You have to be, you have to be there to do what I cannot do. Just like you said. Yeah, I love you. Yeah, to quit on a balance, kidogo, but. Apana, vitu tu unajua tu ni manly, we fanya tu, we fanya tu. Usi miache kila kitu, no, I don't think I can, I can cope up with that. Yeah, like I need to be a girl, mi achaka mm. baby girl. girl. Exactly, <laughs> we go on a date, I'm not opening that door, but then I'm, I'm teaching myself Ooh, these things. Ooh, don't you mind. Please, 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 please,
you will find men who will go and sit down and look at you. I know. I will tell you that 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 I will that I will tell you that I will tell you that that I will tell you 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 that I I love your face. I love your no, face. No, because okay. what have you been doing after school? People are investing. No, that's the culture. Kwe to like. Oh, it's culture. Like I mean, I uh -huh. mean, ile point ya mtu anakwambia ti. Oh, hivyo ndo tunafanyanga. Oh, hivyo ndo kunaendanga. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is how we do it. Double it and give it to the next person. Me, yeah, I don't want. Wow. There's no <laughs> way. Oh no, I, I just can't. I just feel like it's uh no we should have time as a nuclear family. The extended show on it I mean, December, Christmas and all that that's fine. Mm -hmm. But just uh, living with them on a daily basis, that's when problem starts by day. That's when uh you and the mother in law are clashing. Mm -hmm. We went uh to us do up it's just unnecessary things. I just don't think that's right. Yeah, no, I mean, upon I mean in terms of Kuishi, Wanaishi Huku, Mtu they have a family oh. mansion in Karen. Mm -hmm. And you know that it's maybe a trend. You see, especially Indians live together. Mm -hmm. So assuming that there's someone when you're so attached to the mother or especially that happens a lot when it's an only son and an only mother. Single yes. mother and an only son. So I'm as well kuishi pamoja. So mama kia kolai kuki mwa kujeni tu tuishi tuishi na nyinyi. What do you think? Hey, me, I don't think I will agree with that. Cause a hey, ah, uh, just like I'm saying, we need that katai mnye. Maybe we we na maybe the kids. Yeah, cause kwenda sasa ku kuingia in another relationship ya kuingeze atena a third party, a third party. Yeah, italeta italeta tu kutakuwa na conflict. Atwezi avoid conflict. But again, I think um, it's not bad. It depends with the relationship. Uh, with the relationship you have with this mother-in-law at the moment. Yeah, it's in a depend. Venye mneza, mneza kwa mmechukuliana. Mneza kuna ile, you can be comfortable. So if you're comfortable mm -hmm. with her, depending on how you communicate, mm -hmm. I don't think kutakuwa na ham ya kuenda ku join muishi pamoja only if your communication is good mm -hmm. if um, mtakuwa na a lot of conflicts though at least avoid conflicts yeah it depends we have good mother in law of course it's going to be chill man because i think yeah we do we don't no, 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 no. there there are good mothers yeah. out there there are good mm -hmm. mothers out there i believe my mom is one of them Okay, I was telling <laughs> I was telling my mom that that she was mm -hmm. she was telling me at she was we have only one brother our last born Kalasti. So I was mm -hmm. thinking Gaki to the Zapa to Ronga Jose Vito Lafi Queni by brother and Diana Safa. He's the mama's boy. Yeah. Because he's been raised now as China. Is he light skinned? Yes. Oh. And then we are all girls to go a tattoo and then there's him. Mm -hmm. And then now mom. And then my my brother mom used to go back to the Mamma Quenda Salon Jose. I mean, that campus. Wow. <laughs> like, they, they were so inseparable. He will take my mom when they go salon, when they easily, when they drew wapi. Like, they were so close. So, uh, it has brought me to this point here. Kuna mungine. Now, I'm reading comments on social media um, just to get feedback. And then there's one comment up in Asewekana. She is the only woman that is, we had asked Utambiaje, uh, Utasemaje kwa mwanaume mwenye anatima make kuliko his wife. Mm -hmm. So Mungira Anasema she's the only woman behind her success and Le Kumpenda. So the success factor has been brought up that it's only the mother who's behind that son's success. So don't come between that. What do you think? Well, okay, we've been looking at the negative side of this, but Kidogo Penny same on the positive side. Um when a man is this attached to the mother, when it's not like an unhealthy attachment i think he also grows to learn how to respect women 
and yeah that's very important he learns how to respect women how to live with women and that's a good thing nice yeah so i think um busy on the uh that's positive side of mm -hmm. it the mother contributing to the success of this man yeah she has contributed a lot she has raised she has raised the man so i mean uh, for you to deserve this man, the, the mother, Ali, Ali, she played a very big role. Yeah, so we should also look at it in that angle. Yeah, yeah this woman deserves a lot of respect. And kuna two parts. Uwezi toa, uwezi mtoa kwa party, a relationship ya your man. So she has to be there. But then again, I feel like parents uh they have done their part. They shouldn't be controlling so much the success of of their children. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in as much as they have contributed, kuna uh, ile okay, they have done their part. So you just let your son make their own decisions. Yeah, you see, at some point, ukimwacha tu ataleta atakuwa atakuwa considerate in what he's doing. So mm -hmm. atakuwa na ku consider. But you just don't have to be too controlling, but yeah, you can give your opinions and one to be but again, don't be controlling. Yeah. Nice. Let let me take another word. Um, give each other the respect and draw the line between that Kezia Murithi. She's saying give each other the respect and draw the line between the two because everyone has their place. Do you believe that? both of them have their place in a man's life yes and they should all be respected i have a question do we have mama girls mama's girls <laughs> daddy's girl daddy's that girl <laughs> daddy's girl exists but so I'm is it sure. like the same thing yes Okay. That is girl. That is girl. The 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 You will be daddy today. Dead. We have daddy's girls. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It it can be healthy and it can be unhealthy. Mm -hmm. um, personally, I believe there are healthy relationships in terms of parents, children. I've seen my brother-in-laws, my brothers-in-law, mm -hmm. uh, uh, treat their baby girls, and I'm like, wait, <laughs> my dad, you need to you need to have gone for these classes yeah. because my brothers-in-law will 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 take their children out mm -hmm. for dinner, like you know, daddy daddy daughter dates and mm -hmm. then the daughter will be dressed up mm -hmm. at a to ribbon kwa kichwa yeah. the mom will <laughs> will 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 pamba the like girl baba at a come like they will literally i've seen it my brother-in-law will come pick the girl up kwa mlango amemletia kama ua ameleta roses amempea those things i used to see the movies I i'm telling you so he takes her and they go for a, mama hayuko they're just the two of them wanaenda mm -hmm. wanakula na mbaya everything they want they talk like and that that's a four-year-old three four-year-old because one is three years the other one is four years mm -hmm. and they both and i'm wondering what do you talk to the three-year-old the four-year-old no. then i realized it's not about what they talk about mm -hmm. but it's about the whole experience yeah. what they feel and i'm like my father where were you when i was growing <laughs> up <laughs> am i a spoon <laughs> To the group, the lens is that the dear king gave us mama, Munas mama attention. The dear Peter Konza, I was telling you, I can find Una Kimbia Kuskian attack and you see my news remote to Nampet. Ula letter exactly because remote to Nampia Makozaki, Yakuna Kushika remote. There's no touching remote when the father is in the house, yeah. but you know. Yeah, mm -hmm. we have daddy's um, uh, daddy's girls. Mm -hmm. So that that brings me to that conversation here. Yeah. Um, what's the place of a mother and what's the place of a wife in the life of a man? Ooh, Who wants to? I go first? Yes, yeah. Yeah, you can. <laughs> uh, the place of a mother. The mother raised you. The mother taught you uh, moral values. He taught you a lot of things, and he contributed a lot to your success. So the place of your mom, you should respect her, but uh, you should also create boundaries when it comes to a point that 
you are in a romantic relationship. I, you, you see, uh, whatever your mom is doing for you, uh, it's not what your girlfriend will do for you. So these are two relationships. So it's you to be, to have a balance on how you're going to treat each of them. So the, the, your mom is playing a very big role in terms of giving you advices, but your wife here should also be a, priori a priority uh, when you make decisions. Don't go to your mother and tell her everything. Unajopia kuna kuambia, ukiambia mzazi everything. Kuna tu ile, wife hata feel poor. So consult with your wife. Know if she's right with everything you, you want to do. And then, yeah. Kutakuwa tunaka momentum, utajispare uta, uta from a lot of dramas. Yeah. Wakianza kukompita hapo wati, oh, huyu ni mstu wangu nilimlea, mindo rajwa kenye, amepitia, alafu wife wako hapa, oh, mimi ndo na mfanyanga hivi. Mm -hmm. So kutakuwa na a lot of conflict. So understand the place of your mom and the position of your lady so that kutakuwa tuna balance. Itajileta. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, I think I'd agree with her. Just like she said, your mom raised you. But it also gets to a point where now you need to take charge of your life and let your wife handle it. Which also brings me to this point of um, men who try to make their wives look like their mom. I don't know how many you miss mom. <laughs> you, just, you want to make your wife your mom. <laughs> And Lovely. it's just not cool. You want your wife to be cooking, to do all the laundry, to just do everything. Also, ignoring the fact that she goes to work, which is also not right. Um, there's this song that says, you know, I'm back in the go. Your wife is your partner, not your mom. Your wife is your partner, not, not your, your mom. mom. <laughs> so give them the respect that they deserve. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Let there be boundaries. Treat your mom like your mom. She's raised you. We appreciate that. She made you who you are and that's okay. But there are places when she has to step down and let your wife do her duties like a wife. My son doesn't like this. My son doesn't like my son. My son, my son. He's my husband. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> my son too. Hey. <laughs> um, Visa Williams, I may respond to Kezia Murithi. Kezia had said you give respect to each and draw the yeah. line. So Visa, I may say my, it's easier said from a woman. Um, Joe Kaga, and Asema, my favorite show, Mama Muhimu Bana, thank you. Then Andrea Oscar, Asema, respect your father and mother to live long. Hi, Asema, I know you Kenya. Cornell Kett and Asema, the fifth commandment is very clear. Mm. And then there is um, Albi Mkatoliki and Asema Vihiga Mago sent a tune. Thank you so much. Then Mara Wilson is saying a man must have to draw boundaries in all sides. Otherwise, you're going to have a miserable marriage full of frustrations. Of course. True. You agree? Mm hmm respect them both that is lois molly respect them both but respect your wife and don't involve your family to your marriage please yeah <laughs> how do you deal with relatives living with you yeah. this week i have been reading a lot about um how to handle relatives dealing living with with you that is how to maintain the respect of your wife in, with relatives and for the wife how to respect to, to maintain the respect of your husband in, in at a home. So what what let me just throw the same question to you. How mm. would you deal with how would you deal with relatives living with you? Now assuming that Ulipata Uma no me or or assuming that things happen and you have to live with these relatives. Mm. <laughs> I feel like you first have to know your position. Your position as yeah, quite your relationship you may include the day relatives. Just know your position. We when do girlfriend apo, but mm. don't usque na ka ego. U feel like unajo mekuja, you've replaced the nini ako ka ka that ka bond ya yeah, ume interfere na yuki dogo. Mm. So kuna tu venye lazima tu ulan kuf <laughs> kura yi mambu ya kufit in eh. Mm. Urase giro na force issues u fit in to pre to please the relatives. Mm. But then I feel Knowing your position, just know how to talk to this relative. Wasome kwanza, 
you know what they like, what they dislike, know how they can be interactive, try to form uh, a how to relationship. I feel ukifanya hivyo, uh, it's all about humbling. Ushuke tu kidogo, usiseme ati now you're in control because we wendo yeah, wendo uko hapo sasa kwa position. Mm. Yeah, it's just a matter of stepping down kidogo, wasome kwanza, you learn how they behave and then unaenda tu na flow. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Okay. Mr. Jeremy to fight for you saying every issue anafikishia his mind. Acha zenye ni za wawili unampea priority sana kuliko wife. We? <laughs> hey, for me is saying good morning, gong tune, thank you. Then Eric Jambo is saying the fifth commandment is very clear. Respect your mom and dad and earn more years and prosperity in this world. Some women, if respected, they tend to res reciprocate the respect into inferiority. They therefore behave like they are the ones in control and start issuing instructions and lectures. Anyhow, I like the show and then locked. Do you agree with that? Okay, I don't know. Villa Mendica comment I guess I don't wanna be rude because Pia Mekwanda is <laughs> but then um he said when you respect a woman she feels like you're inferior or something like that. Yeah. No, I, I just don't think it's right, like, at all. Um, okay, so what he's trying to say, in short, is you're not supposed to respect your woman, in short words. Why? Okay, Why? respect sana. When you don't want to know come out, you inferior, and they start throwing, to make orders, you come out to supermarket. No, I just feel like respect goes both ways, and it shouldn't be like that. But also, I find yourself a submissive woman. Yeah, I. Do <laughs> you naturally they don't want to be submissive and yes. it's fine. Yes. Mm. But now, when you treat a woman right, when you treat a woman right, when you respect her, mm. who doesn't want to to submit to mm -hmm. a woman that loves? I know, right? Who doesn't want to submit to a woman that respects them? Mm -hmm. Anyhow, mm -hmm. I don't want to put my opinion on it. So, uh, someone is saying confirmed. Uh, Wasafi Chris is saying it's very important to respect your parent. Admilo is saying to angazia baraka kwanza mzazi ndiye kila kitu. You can't compare with anyone else. Then Dan Prince is saying respect your parents. Bibi ni wengi so koni. Hey! Jawai ni. Na tupinga mawe baragai. Hey, Mungina, Marion is Marion is saying, Mom is my hero. Patrick Murathi is saying, I found my wife fighting with my mom. Ili bidini yende ni itebuda. Tuwane ni bibi ya nani atashidai. What? Ata niwa jika kumaliza, guys. I found my wife fighting with my mom. Ili bidini yende ni itebuda. Tuwane ni bibi ya nani atashina. The rest is history. Hey. Guys, hey, I'm a Kimwasha. We all know that one woman who can be married to more than enough homes, but they, their mother will forever remain by your side. I think moms deserve it more. Jack is saying, watch if, watching from Migori stage, thank you. Maria is saying, Akaina Mamake. We are bringing a Jackson and a Semana Ito Radosh, Raja Dosh. Now watch Nikki Wanjiru Kasarani ngo makali sana ncheze iposiku by Ragadosh. Where? Rajadosh. Yes. Then there's good morning. Unaweza pata mke mwingine. Lekini mama yako ni mama yako tu. Uwezi pata mama mwingine. Labda mama wakambo. Hey, then someone else has said, Wacha kaira wamake, another comment. And there's so many. Let me read like two more or something. Because according to God's commandment, we are instructed to obey parents, not a wife. Wife can draw you into problems. That that is Ilari Makoha. Mama is everything. Naivasha can tell her tuned. Uh, then there is Mama first to you mungine to Jovile to Taishi. Then Mungina Mesema Mamangu ni Mamangu wife ni watu wakwao. Akujem janja to rain hard is saying akujem jan akuem janja too. Then Owen is saying my mama fast. Huyo mungine ni limpatakama akona thirty years. My mama fast. Then respect ya mzazi muhimu sana. Then there's comments are so many. Mama kwanza mimi nilikupata na 32. Zako, 
yule anajua hata ya kwanza ilipotoka i don't know e, mama kwanza mimi nilikupata na 32 zako yule anajua ya kwanza kwanza ilipotoka i think ni meno 32 or something oh, keep it up man Sa, mama mzazi ndiye we bungoma tuned and then Richie Kingly anasema vile inofaa eh <laughs> i think a lot of people are like mm -hmm. Respect your parent, respect yeah, your parent. Yeah. But as we bring this whole conversation to, to, to near an end or something, can they coexist? Is it possible that a man will have a healthy relationship with his mother and a healthy relationship with his mom? Definitely. I think it's very possible. But we also come back to the point of respect. I respect you as his mother. You respect me as my wife. We have different roles, so yeah, let's play them. Yeah. Let me ask you, mm -hmm. um, how far is too far to share information? Hmm. How far is too far to share information? Mm -hmm. No, it's not very far to share information. You can just, uh, communication, you just communicate. So it's a matter, it's not very far to share information. So long as you just, don't put that information, just, whatever is in your heart. Yeah, there's always some, someone there to scare, and then so yeah, it's, it's a little understanding. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, instead of answering that, I have a question. Do you think the mother-in-law should be able to ask uh, what's going on in the bedroom? Uh, that kind of conversation. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just asking if they have the right to ask where are my grandkids. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Grandkids, yes. Wako api, wako sawa. Can I No. Like, if you guys haven't had kids and the mother is wondering, oh. No. <laughs> no. What is your business with our having kids? Uh, so what is my having children? Mm -hmm. But it also contributes to their happiness. They just want to be happy. So it's not <laughs> like they live with those kids. Our children are on a holiday. They keep up like a week. They see Kumbili. They are rudish and kuangu. So okay. Anyway. Let me not say anything more. <laughs> okay, let's do a parting show. <laughs> Where do we start? Let's start there. Okay. So, Naskia Otengia Mongila about commandments. Yeah. Yeah. Your, the fifth commandment. Yeah. It's good to obey that. Respect your mother. Respect your parents. What Nyondo Ameku raise. Yes, you've met a lady. Mwenye Amekuja after, I don't know, 10, 20 years. So, just know that kuna another priority mekuja. So, it's you to just make a balance. Yeah, it's you to make a balance on what is important. Niwendo utajua, if this, what I do, is it going to be, italeta a balance kwa wote wa wili? Wote wa wili, will they get satisfied? Wata kwa contented with how you are relating with them. So, just communicating and make sure that we got a, a good relationship themselves. Yeah. Let Tell us where we can find you on your socials. Of course, yeah, you can find me on Instagram, in uh, TikTok, everywhere as Anna underscore K official. Yeah. Finally, my guest co-host. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for coming through. Thank you for Thank being you for here. Having us. Salon, and I've had fun. Woo. Me too. Me too. I was feeling like I'm cheating on Val, but yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Okay, Give us, do, 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 do the outro. Um, okay, what I'd like to say is I am not against you guys loving your mothers and respecting them. But if you saw the, today's topic, I clearly had to be on the wife's side because you were talking about the man being totally inclined to the mother. So, yeah, it's very important to respect both of them. And we go back to boundaries and respect. You can find me on all social media platforms at SK Gitonga. That means Twitter, Instagram, Tinder. I'm kidding. Get to be submissive, manako. We are man to be submitted. Anyway, let's wrap up the entire conversation. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you so much for keeping us company here at Y254. I have had a good morning, a good morning of great vibes, good conversations, and great music. And final word, in case you need to reach out to Bath and Beyond, that is the earlier discussion I had on Strength of a Woman, their social media handles are at Bath and Beyond. My name is Chris Mangi. Let's meet tomorrow, same time, same place, same situation. Bye.